love for what, what, he, what he had, what he, what he was in touch with. Which means that the love, the feeling of a person could leave in stages. It fades away slowly. When it comes to Ratzin wanting something, there's no such thing as a half a wanting. Or he wants it or he doesn't want it. It's like a switch which is on or off. Why is it that by wanting something, there is a, it's a one-point switch and there is no stages in it and there's no levels, and there's no percentages? The reason is because Ratzin is not a potential, not an entity for itself that should have percentages and stages but actually it's a one nikuda, one point expression and that is the expression of the direction of a person's soul in whatever direction the soul takes this is called rotsun when a person, the rotsun means it is the expression of the, the nefesh it is not an entity for itself and that's why rotsun is also the letter sinner which means a channel it is the channel of expression of the nefesh therefore because Ratzin is a deeper personal character trait in the person, therefore it is in a sense higher than the ordinary keiches, than the ordinary personal character traits. And therefore when a person wants to do something, he wants to do something, he wants to go somewhere, he'll pick up his feet without asking any questions. Because Ratzin is a potential that encompasses the person as a whole. It is like an electronic... Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, current that just reaches every part of the body in the same time. When it comes to seichel, intellect, it has to go through the mind, then it has to go through the emotions. Each, each of these personal character traits has vessels for themselves. And then actually the message has to get to the feet. I want to go somewhere because I want it and because it is something that will be good for me. Which means intellect, logic and emotions. So therefore, when we're speaking about the Ratzon of Hashem, it is not just fulfilling the Ratzon of Hashem. It is accomplishing by the Ebishter a new Ratzon. Because in order that we should accomplish by the Ebishter a Ratzon, we have to bring ourselves into it that our Ratzon should be a Ratzon committed completely, our will and desire should be completely to committed to Hashem. And this will accomplish that the Ebishter should have a desire to us which this is the same way that will have in Pirkei Ovis in the coming weeks. I say it, say nay, that battle it, say come if nay, it, say nay, nullify your desire for his desire. So this is the Bechol Meidecha. Bechol Meidecha means with his whole utmost, completely, Ratzin Shel Hashem. And this is expressed in the utmost of a person, which is a deeper and a more uh, uh, rooted, uh, a deeper and a higher rooted potential in the person which is called will, which is higher than the other character traits that are under the intellectual level. Isn't the also sometimes Mr. Stampish? Yeah, I mean this is, it seems like the Rebbe was leading into it, although the Rebbe stopped by the whole And then you just mentioned the Pirkei Ovis, right, by Taylor Tzonka. Bakal Ritzeincha, when we say the Indian of Mali Katla Palga, Mali Katla Kula, says what's the difference if a person is, is half, if right. a person is half killed or whole killed. So this is the example that Hasidus gives in order to be mevatel his rotzen. When a person nullifies his desire to Hashem, this is considered already like his mesiras nefesh. Because nefesh, in a sense, also means rotzen, will and desire. When a person does mesiras nefesh in Avedas Hashem, in his service created, it means he commits his will and desire to Hashem. And then there is, in a physical sense, mesiras nefesh, that, that he sanctifies Hashem's name. But, but the bottom line of our mysterious nefesh, especially in our Ikanikvitz of the Beshicha with the Halamas, is just to do. The bottom line is to do. What to do, it right. So this is what, that's okay, why the Rebbe stresses many times. Say, how could you say that we're doing, who is holding by... by okay, this is a general question. It is not, this doesn't start here and it doesn't finish here, this question. This is a question where hundreds of my modern the Rabbeim are speaking about such levels of ecstasy, pleasure, Ava Rabba Bitainugim, loving Hashem with a great Ava, which, you know, asking, how, how are we shy to it? 
So already the Alter Rebbe answered it, that this is the Yonim that we're learning now. When Mashiach will come, Mahav, as someone that learns something and then he sees it, so he'll recognize it, he'll have a deeper understanding of what it means, and he'll be up to that level. So, there, so, this, so the Rebbe continues, We see the words of Hashem have spoken. The, uh, how, uh, uh, the words of Hashem that are speaking, which means, Hainu Shereim, we see Shadod, Vara, Vaya, Mehave, Mechaye, Mekayim, Gamachso, Kolin, Yeshabayla. That the Dvar Hashem, the words of Hashem, sustains and brings life and uh, brings existence into everything in the world, even now. Which this is the revelation how a person connects and visualizes the godliness as it literally sustains the world. As the Tera of the Baal Shem Tev and the verse that are the, in Psalms 119, that, that Hashem's word is constantly sustaining the world. Now the Dvar Avaya, the words of Hashem, is only concealed. Through Avidosi Anal, through connecting to Hashem on an infinite level, that he commits himself and his nefesh pours out to Hashem. So then retrospectively Hashem, in Hashem also gives back to him in, the, in, in actually in coinciding in parallel to what he accomplished, that he should also receive all these revelations, that he sees the Dvar Hashem, because he's connecting to Hashem on a higher level, he visualizes to see how the words of Hashem sustain the creation. So now the Rebbe continues, it's interesting to note in an unusual way that this is a maimah that the Rebbe mentions, uh, it seems like all the Chabad Rabbeim, quotes from every one of the Rabbeim, on this page itself we have the Magid, the Tzemach Tzedek, the Baal Shem Tev, and we'll have further the Alter Rebbe. And it seems like, I would figure, that we probably might come across also the, uh, the, the Rabbeim that we didn't mention here. What significance is that? It's, uh, it's uh, in general, when the Rebbe would mention in a Hasidic discourse the names of all the Rabbeim, so this is a very formal and official mindset that the Rebbe wanted to accomplish something spiritually in the world, which should come down in a physical sense, it is something which happened twice a year usually, Rosh Hashanah and Yud Shvat. Rosh Hashanah being the beginning of the year, and Yud Shvat, which was the day that the Rebbe assumed leadership, so every year the Rebbe would deliver a Hasidic discourse, which would include explanations from all the Rabbeim, beginning from the Baal Shem Tif. So when it did happen, other times, it was something unique that Hasidim made note of it. This is also what the Tzemach Tzedek says, B'Sheirish Mitzvah Satzila. The Tzemach Tzedek explains the previous verse from Tilim, chapter 73, that it is that it's connected with the same chapter that the Tzemach Tzedek explains in his commentary in his Hasidic discourse on Tfila, which is uh, over 40 chapters, what is, it, what is the significance of the affection, the love, of connecting to Hashem, and he says, the idea of Mili Vashamayim, that David HaMelech, King David says, who do I have and what do I have Vashamayim, that whatever goes with you, besides you, besides Hashem, he says, Lechafatsi, I have no, de- I have no desire to them. Chafatsi is a stronger uh, expression than will. It's, it's a inner, more, in, inner word, innermost uh, uh, feeling and desire that a person has. And, just, and this is the Agdome, this is the introduction to the verse quoted earlier, Kolosh Eidi that everything pours out Hashem. So, Dabar Melech said 